whining you know it's only nice for us to be there together the guy is coming just for the wedding but you could have at least told I'll him just that shut it okay I don't know what to do. why are you stopping huh? <laughs> and what was that for that was for the road, baby. Now that will make you shut up for a while. Let's go to get home. I'll make you really good. Damn, Bala, man, look at you. The state sure looks good on you, man. Oh, really? <laughs> Thank you. I mean, your woman must have also done the same with you, man. Making you really good, too. Look at you. You put on some flesh, you know. Really? Thank you. I mean, you used to be like a scarecrow, man. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, God. oh, anyway, it's all good. Yeah, man. I thank God for this girl, you know. She's a blessing. So, when are you guys tied enough? I mean, you and Angela? Scarecrow. Please, Victor. Tying knots? Just because you tied and worn doesn't mean I'm going to have to tie mine too. I'm not ready for that yet. I 
Let's just do this now. No, I'm, I'm gonna do it, but I don't know when, you know. I'm not even sure if it's gonna be where well, I was just joking. You know. <laughs> Prime and proper, nicely dressed and all sexy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my, oh my. Look at you. You have certainly filled out. Tamala, do you want something? Because I'm on my way out of the kitchen. Oh, come on. Don't play dumb with me, darling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, it doesn't suit you. Okay. Look, I tried, but you had disappeared. No trace. I mean, what can a man do, huh? And then my buddy invites me over to be his best man in his wedding. And who could have known it was going to be you? Demala, what's your point? Seven years ago. salt for? Are you trying to say the food isn't good? I've been in that kitchen all day slaving to make us all a nice dinner. You just ask for some salt. So, Angela, how do you like Lagos? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, um, Lagos is fine. You know, I grew up in Patakot, you know, but I visited Lagos once or twice. I think there's a whole lot of difference now. Well, um, that's funny. <laughs> I don't see a difference anyway. Well, maybe that's because you're not very observant, are you? I need to be excused. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> well, I'm sorry about that. Um, she's not usually like this. 
please, Father Lord. <sighs> yeah, you know, must be her nerves, <laughs> you know. The wedding stuff and all that. I guess. I'm sorry. What's the meaning of all this? Oh, please don't act like you don't know what you've done. Do you know what? Please, I'm lost here. Could you refresh in my memory? Oh, cut the crap! I simply hate it when you find ignorance after you have misbehaved. For Christ's sake, you've been like a he got on hit ever since you got into Nigeria. Ever since you set your eyes on your friend's fiance. you know what I'm talking about? Oh, you think I'm blind? Oh, just look at the way she behaved today while we're having dinner. I don't need a suit here to tell me what is going on. I mean, there is a lot of current running here. Oh, yeah? Well, let me tell you, Angel, that only current I feel right now is your madness running through my veins and my brains. What nonsense is this, man? Are you drunk or something? I am not drunk. Don't you even try to patronize me because I'm in my right frame of mind. And let me tell you something. If you don't keep this roving hands of yours to yourself, I promise you, you will regret it. It's what I've been talking about. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I didn't want to come here with you, man. Because I knew in the first place that you were going to be a bag of trouble. Oh. And I insisted that you stay back, but you insisted that you wanted to come. I don't know why I talked you into this anyway. You're just a bag of trouble. Thank God you know I am trouble. Look, my middle name is trouble. And if you try me, I will make sure you have a trailer load of it. If you don't behave yourself. Shut up and keep your voice down. This is my friend's house. Not ours. But let me tell you though, you know, it just won't stop me from, from giving you a good thumping and trashing of your life if you continue to push us at war. You can't try it. I said you cannot try it. Try me and see. What is wrong? I'm just like, you oh, can't try it. You shut the hell up now or you're. You were just going to a get lousy it. idiot. You can't do nothing. Work. Well, I said this job now, I'll get them. Oh, um, Stella, I didn't hear you come in. How will you hear me come in? When these days your mind is never here. Are you sure you even know what you're typing? They're saying you this morning. Why can you help me tell them, say I know D? Okay, leave that matter. It's time for lunch. Let's go and eat. What? Lunch? Mm hmm. 
I didn't even realize the time had gone. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me save this in. Okay. Hello? Oh, hello, sweetie pie. Who is this? Come on, you know my voice. Don't tell me you've forgotten it. Well, at least you've got my number. Look, I don't know what games you're playing, but I'm not interested. Why don't you just go and look for another woman? I'm a happily married woman. No. Engaged, sweetie pie, and not until the 27th. Anything can happen before then. Yes. Sweetie, I can't seem to get over you ever since you came to pick me up from the airport. Let me tell you, the truth is, I can't get over you. That's it. Go to hell. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Trouble. What is it? Look, let's just go for lunch. I'll tell you over lunch. Okay. Oh God. Look, I talked to someone about it, and he recommended a good doctor. Okay. I've told you, I'm not having an abortion. I'm not going to kill my baby. Look, that baby's not ready yet. It's still developing in its early stages, okay? You can afford to lie there and tell me the biology of it all. Because you're not the one having the baby. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Look, Jeremy, that's the best option, man. So, that's the best option? Oh, yes. Do you know the implication of having an abortion? Do you? God, stop being silly. What do you expect me to do, Chioma? You want me to rush into marriage? I'm a young man, man. What do I have? I mean, with what do I feed the baby? Well, just try and be reasonable for once in your life. Man. You promised me. You said you would marry me. You said we would be together through everything. Get rid of that thing. So, that was how it happened. This was around the time of our final exams in school. Of course, I failed. Demola avoided me all through school. The next thing I heard, he was in the States. I mean, he just abandoned me ever since. That's how I had my baby. I went through hell. Stella, I went through hell and back. But I made it. I had my baby. I went back to school. Got my degree. And now, now that I'm about to be married to the most wonderful man in the world, Demola resurfaces. My God. You mean all this happened and you never told me? I didn't even know you had a child. And we've been working in the same office for years. I'm sorry. It's just that... 
It's just an aspect of my life I don't like talking about. It's not to say that I'm ashamed of my baby, because I'm not. It's just... That was just the most painful time in my life. So where's this your daughter right now? With my mom. Wait. Don't tell me Tomide is your daughter. Yes. My goodness. And everyone believes she's your niece? It's better that way. And why do I have the feeling that Victor doesn't know about this? He doesn't. I'll tell him after the wedding. I promise. Girlfriend, you're in deep shit. Do you realize this is the highest form of deceit? I mean, this is unfair to Vic. Don't you think I know that? I've wanted to tell him all this while, but I've never been able to get around to it. Oh God, Stella, what am I going to do? God. My sister, if I were you, I would tell him fast. And listen, don't get married without telling him everything. Don't. Huh. How am I going to do that? How? Michael! Michael! Oh, uh, <clears throat> sorry, um, honey, I'm sorry. Don't honey me. You always absent minded these days. Well, um, <clears throat> look, Angela, don't you think it's a bad day for us to go visit your parents? Why? Because it's a bad weather, man. The weather is bad. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen anything wrong with the weather. So try another line. Look, Angela, I mean, let's just try and push this thing back a bit, man. You know, there's no need to hurry. I mean, well, I, actually, I need to sort out a few oh, things. You're fair with Daniel, right? God, don't oh, worry. Angela, why have you started again, huh? Why? I mean, I know you're very imaginative, but. Don't you think you're taking this too far? Daniel, you're such a lousy liar. What? So, have you no shame? Oh and to think that you were to be their best man on their wedding day for crying out loud. What's all this for now? Huh? What's the meaning of all this? Oh, don't you try to insult my intelligence, Michael. For Christ's sake, I see the way you look at her. I see the way you get all to do whenever she's around. Uh, what kind of nonsense is this? I mean, are you going crazy or something? No, you are the one that is crazy here, okay? And let me tell you something. If you think I came all the way from the States for you to make a fool of me, then you should have another thing coming. Don't you ever talk to me like that again. The next time you do it, I'm going to whoop you so bad, you'll never forget it. You know what? You and your friends can all go to hell. Now pack this car. Morning. Come back here, Angela. Angela! Come back to
Hello, Daniel. Yeah, listen, I... It's me, Michael. Yes, listen, Daniel. Um, I really, 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 really have to talk to you. It's, it's urgent. Look, it's so important that I get to see you. And I want you to come over. If you don't come, I'm going to be forced to come there myself. I have some things to discuss with you. Yes. Look, I'm at the lagoon front, okay? Yeah, at a usual place in the good old days. All right, then see you later. Bye. Are you sick in the head? Haven't you done enough harm in my life? Haven't you hurt me enough? I mean, just when I'm beginning to have some happiness in my life, you choose to resurface. What on earth is it you want? Daniel, I was young. Look, there was no way I could set it up to those responsibilities. You know that. Oh yeah, I mean, I accepted. I, I was a coward, you know. But I never stopped thinking of you. I never stopped loving you. Look, ever since you came to pick me up from the airport, I haven't been myself. I haven't been the same. I can't seem to get you out of my mind. Daniel, please let me love you again. You know nothing about love. You know what? I suggest that you get your bags, you and your girl, and head back west. Hey. Daniel, that's out of the question right now. You don't expect me to just walk away like that? Now that I've found you? Not on my life, baby, not on my life. Look here, Demola Peters. I am not interested in you. I'm engaged to be married to one of the most wonderful men in the world. And by God, on the 27th of this month, I'm walking down that aisle with him. So you had better get all those delusions out of your head. Daniel. You heard me, Daniel. Call it off. Now I know you are crazy. You've totally gone round the bend. Why are you doing this to me, Demola? Why did you have to just come back? Why did you just stay where you were? Asking, are you all right? Are you all right? I'm fine, girl. I'm cool. It's 
just that um, I'm just a bit confused, obviously. I mean, I don't even know how to face Victor these days. Come on. Let me understand something. I hope you're not doing something with this Demola guy. Me and Demola? Of course not. It's just... I, please. I beg of you. Victor is a nice guy. And he doesn't deserve that kind of thing. And you think I don't know that? Oh God, you know. Please. Look, I don't want to hurt Victor. But it's just that... Demola kissed me the other day and... <laughs> Everything's just been rushing back, you know? It's like... Daniel! Are you alright? Yeah. Demola kissed me. <sighs> My dear, I don't think so. <sighs> anyway, are you still going for this party? Which party? Didn't I tell you? Victor is throwing a pre-wedding party. It's all his idea, not mine. This is your Victor. Now what for? Not be small. Of course I'm coming. And I assume Demola will be there as well? Yes, he will be there. Even though I wish he would just disappear. Well, since wishes are not horses, beggars cannot ride. Honestly, Stella, I don't want to attend this party. You know you have to be there, Danielle. Pull yourself together and behave so that Victor won't notice anything. Please. Anyway, what are you wearing? No, you tell me what you're wearing. Oh, yeah. What is this? are the original bottle of the bad wine. Smoke trash in the area. Mr. DJ, feel the selector. Y'all know what we are going to do now. So I'm going to tell you the girls in the
Now we both know who is occupying your thoughts now, don't we? But let me sound this as a note of warning to you. Don't you try to play any stupid pranks on my guy. Because if you do, <laughs> you will have serious problems on your hands. I mean it. I'm sorry for that little accident. I meant no harm. I just wanted to get your attention. I'm sure we both understand each other, don't we? sort out a few things here. Alright, so. You are really beginning to get on my nerves! I'm beginning to get on your nerves. Yes! Getting on your nerves, what? I'm getting on your nerves simply because I want my man to pay attention to me. For crying out loud, what did you bring me out here to the beach for? To come watch you talk over the phone with God knows who? Point of correction, Angela. <laughs> I did not invite you over here to this beach. Alright? You are touched yourself as usual. So please, just let me cool off. Did you say cool off? Yeah. What are you cooling off from? Huh? Oh, is the hate too much in you already? Do you know I hate men without integrity? Just take a look at yourself. I mean, you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't even know why I had to put up with you this long in the first place when you chase everything in skirts. A cat person you chase, a cat person you chase, you chase dogs, you chase animals. Oh my gosh! Angela! God, I mean, I have never in my whole life seen a woman nag the way you do. Gosh! I didn't know what I was thinking about before I started dating you. God help me. It's never too late, you know. And what is that supposed to mean? Huh? What is that supposed to mean, Mr. Demola? And where, where do you think you're going? Demola? Demola, where do you think you're going? Demola, you can't leave me here, can you? Huh? Watch me. What is wrong with you? Are you out of your mind? Yeah. 
Hello. Hi. Is Victor in? No. And you are? Stella, Daniel's friend. I'm sorry, I'm terrible with faces. I forgot. That. Yeah, please come in. A thousand apologies. Accepted. Actually, it's you I came to see. Oh, oh well, how very nice of you. So, what do I owe this pleasant surprise that a beautiful lady has come to see me? Cut out the flattery, Demola. I need you to stay away from Daniel. I mean, you can't come in from nowhere and, and ruin all the poor girl has worked for. sake, who made you a garden angel over? Huh? Well, I think she's old enough to know what she wants. And I know for a fact that she doesn't want you. So stop harassing her life. I mean, you should be ashamed of yourself. Claiming to be Victor's best friend and here you are trying to steal his wife. Look, you shouldn't make comments of what you know nothing about. It is very unfair. Oh man, I don't have to listen to this. God, why don't you just please you leave and come back when Victor is around. Do me a favor. Take, Take your me. big, fat, ugly nose out of my business and mind yours. It is my business because she's like a sister to me. And I don't want you ruining her life. I don't have to explain anything to you or anyone else. So, please, Mums. And then we keep walking through the Boracay Islands, you know. <laughs> we have lots of fun, you know, having wearing nothing on. For goodness sake, Daniel, I'm talking to you. Oh, darling, I'm so sorry. I wasn't listening. What, what did you say? What the hell is the matter with you? What is it? You've been acting strange these days. Is there a problem? Is there something I need to know? There's no problem, darling. I just have a lot on my mind, that's all. Heartbeat. You should learn to share. I'm going to be your husband in a few weeks' time for crying out loud. Or oh, are you considering changing your mind? Look, if you don't want to marry me, just say so, okay? Instead of talk. Oh, stop it, darling. Stop overreacting. I'm only having pre wedding jitters, that's all. I'm fine. Do you love me? More than anything in the world. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Why would you ever doubt that? I don't know. I don't know. It's just this nagging feeling of something being wrong. Sweetie, listen. Talk to me. If there's anything, is there anything I need to know, just tell me. Please. There's nothing wrong. Come the 27th, I'm gonna be your wife. There's nothing to worry your little head about. Okay? Okay. Okay. Good. Come here. Come where? Come here. Where? I'm here already. I'm here. <laughs> Come here. Don't spill my glasses. No. And look at how you're glowing. 
glowing. Oh, Auntie, I had a very good time with Auntie Tomika and Uncle Bina. Really? I wanted to come back to Lagos because I miss you so much. Oh, my best friend. I miss you too. You're the best girl in the whole world. So, what did you bring for me from Abuja? I brought a big t-shirt with your name on it. Really? But I couldn't bring you some sweet because Grandma did refuse to give me some money. Oh. Grandma? Oh, you did. Eh? You don't even want Daniela to settle down first before you start with your stories. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, Mommy. Let me say it's welcome. 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 I, I just wanted to surprise you. Oh, that's good. Oh, she's so big. She's big. I just wanted to surprise you, so oh, here I am. That's good. You think my computer game has before? Tommy T, I've told you to stop demanding for things. Yeah, yeah, stop demanding. Remember you're my best auntie and you told me to ask you for anything I want. <laughs> yes, I told you so. But on this particular occasion, I didn't bring it. But I promise you, next week I will. In the meantime, I got you something I know you'd like. What? Hold on. <laughs> Your favorite chocolates! Thank you, I love you so oh, much. Oh, I love you too, darling. Anyway, enough of the excitement. Tommy Day, now you take your homework, go into the room and finish it up. When you are done, you now come out and play with your mom, sorry, your auntie, then you can have your chocolates. I want to play with my auntie and have it now. No, I want you to go into the room and complete your homework okay. now. Don't argue. Go on, no, says, what did you say? I love you, girl. And I love you too. Now you run along. <laughs> Mommy, you two won't kill me. <laughs> no, I have to handle this girl with iron hands. If not, she's going to turn into a little terrorist. And you don't help matters by spoiling her rotten. Mom, I can't help it. She's my only daughter and. I love her fiercely. So how come you're hiding her? Why won't you let the whole world know she's your daughter? By the way, have you told Victor yet? No, Mom. I'm still scared. Besides, we have bigger problems now. Mommy, do you remember Demola Peters? Tommy Day's father? Yes! You won't believe what happened. Victor and I went to pick up his best man at the airport, who turns out to be Demola Peters. And he's even staying with him. Mom, can you imagine? I didn't even know they were friends. Didn't you know the name of his best man before you went to the airport? Mom, Victor told me his best man's name is Michael Peters. How was I supposed to know Demola had, had changed his name? I mean, Mom, it's been a long time I saw him last. And of course, Demola does not know about Tommy Day. How can he, when I didn't even hear from him? It's been almost nine years, Mom. Mom, my life is messed up right now. No, it is not. You are the one complicating issues. I've often told you to tell Victor about Tommy Day, but you refused. If you had come out clean with him all this while, handling this whole situation would have been so much easier. I know, Mom, I know. So what am I going to do? Well, you just have to sit Victor down and tell him the truth. But Mom, I... No, 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 you have to tell him the truth. Now, let me tell you something. I am not going to sit back and let you marry Victor without him knowing the whole truth. This deceit has been going on for too long. Now, you had better tell him yourself, or else I would tell. No, I'll tell him tomorrow. Okay? Oh, yeah, Chills. Uh, make sure you give it to him by Monday. Good. So I'll see you then. All right. You have a nice weekend. Bye. Uh, what be? Hmm? Okay, I'm listening. What was it you were going to tell me? Um, okay. Something and I wanted to tell you for quite a while now. Mm -hmm. Come in, Victor. Aren't you guys ready yet? Ready for what? God, Victor, we were supposed to be going swimming today. Oh my gosh. 
I forgot completely. You know what? You just give us a few minutes, okay? We got something to sort out here first. Oh. <laughs> well, Victor, don't take all eternity to sort it out, please. Look, I need to enjoy the sun, all right? Okay. <laughs> hey. Wait. Is Danielle coming with us? Of course, she's coming. All right. Wait, sort it out. Oh yeah, baby. Where were we? Well, you know what? It's really not that important. We can talk about it some other time. Why don't we just go and have some fun? Hmm? Really? Yeah, really. We deserve a little fun, don't we? Let's go. Come on. We have to change, right? <laughs>
scared me. What are you doing here? Huh? What? Leave here, don't tell me. Please do laugh. You know very well what I'm talking about. Why don't you just go to your room? I would be here. You need something, sweetheart. It's telepathic. Get the message, man. Loud and clear. You are one crazy person. Do you know that? <laughs> of course I know it. Crazily in love with you, baby. Oh, stop it. All right. Do you want to tell him? Or should I? Tell Victor what? About us. Doesn't Victor have a right to know? A right to know what? Daniel, I told you several times. Stop playing dumb with me. I told you this Not several times. Dumb. It doesn't suit you. Are you going to tell him or should I? Is it? Just stop it! Why are you doing this? Stop it! Stop it, Daniel. Stop it, please. Please. Stop it! Stop! Does it do this thanks to you? Huh? Some painkillers. Oh, it's okay. I was just worried. Mm -hmm. I woke up and 